In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this uh, simple quadratic equation, but uh, it's not that simple because we want to write the solution in this form, z in this form. Okay, so you can't use the graphic calculator. Okay, so you can't use any calculator which solves the equation. So you want to write in a z as a plus or minus b root c i, where a, b, c are rational number so we're going to use the method of completing the squares okay, now this is a well-known method completing the square okay <clears throat> okay so what in completing square let me write the equation so it is 2c squared plus 6c plus 11 is equal to 0. the first thing that we do is you don't want this two okay so you have to i want to eliminate this two so well what can i do to eliminate this two so what if i divide this by two so if i divide this by two you have to also divide this by two this by two and this by two so everyone is happy so no problem okay and that's the beauty of maths that uh, you don't offend anyone okay so this is a process of not offending anyone so all all partners or all parties are satisfied so the next step would look like this this is z squared plus 3z plus i'll write 11 over 2 as it is is equal to 0. now in the next step what we are doing is a perfect square i hope you know a perfect square uh, is you what you do you have to do the half of this so this is z squared plus 3z now let me do a side uh, example supposed to make uh, solve by or to make a perfect square suppose you have suppose x squared plus 5x i'm just making up minus say 7 is equal to 0. now to make this a perfect square what you do is so you do x squared plus uh, 5x plus 5 over 2 squared just like this 5 over 2 squared you write 5 over 2 squared and immediately you take away 5 over 2 squared so you haven't done anything okay so this becomes so basically this and this are the same so this is the perfect square of x plus 5 over 2 the whole squared and this is uh, minus 25 over 4 minus 7 over 1 now this becomes a perfect square and this is called completing the square now if you expand this you will get this part this and this are the same this will if you expand it you will get this so i'm not going into this step so you can write this as a perfect square and that's what we i'm trying to do so what i'm going to do the next step is i'm going to do the half of three the half of three is 3 over 2. So I'm adding 3 over 2 squared and then immediately taking 3 over 2 squared and plus 11 over 2. I hope you can understand the logic here. So you added a number to make it a, this, a, this will become a perfect square and this is we're going to simplify this later. Okay so let me change color. It's very monotonous. So this becomes z plus 3 over 2 the whole squared hmm? okay so the, i hope you can understand this minus so let me write plus 11 over 2 i'll write this plus you can you could have written this first minus 9 over 4 is equal to 0 so i'm not going to use a calculator so as far as possible i'll use do without the calculator so this is z plus 3 over 2 the whole squared now this 11 over 2 I want to write out of 4 so if you multiply 2 to both the numerator and the denominator this is 22 over 4 minus 9 over 4 is equal to 0. So this is z plus 3 over 2 it's always good to do more steps in algebra plus what is this 22 minus 9 okay so 22 minus 2 is 20 
and 20 minus 7 is 13. So it is 13 over 4 equal to 0. So I want to write this as the difference of two squares. I Again, you know, I hope you know what is the difference of two squares. If you have a squared minus b squared, uh, you can write this as a minus b times a plus b. So I want to get a minus here. So I'm going to get a minus there. So, and this is the beauty of maths. You can do anything, but you have to justify it or nullify it. So this, I want to write a plus here. And I'll write this as 13 over 4i squared, which is equal to 0. So I hope you know i squared, i is, i is of course, by definition, square root of negative 1. So i squared is negative 1. So this is negative 1, and this is negative makes this positive. So this is z plus 3 over 2 the whole squared minus square root of 13 over 2i the whole squared is equal to 0. So now we can use the difference of two square formula. So this is, uh, okay, so I can write this like, like this. Uh, can I write like this? Okay, z plus 3 over 2 plus root 13 over 2i and z plus 3 over 2 minus root 13 over 2 r is equal to 0. So z, so you can say z1 is minus 3 over 2 minus root 13 over 2 i and z2 is minus 3 over 2 plus root 13 over 2 i. But the question is you want to write in this form, okay, in a general form. So your A, so I'll write like this. So this, if you want to write together in a general form, Z is minus 3 over 2 plus or minus square root of 13 over 2 i. Okay, so yeah, let us understand what is our A. What is our A? So A is minus 3 over 2, which is a rational number, you want to write b times root ci. Okay, so I want to write in that form. So let me write that form. I want to write z is a plus or minus b root c, b root ci. So what is, what is b? b you can understand is half. And C uh, is 13. A is minus 3 over 2. B is half. And C, because C is 13, and here it is square root of 13. So C is uh, 13. Hopefully this video has been helpful. I'll do a few more examples of uh, solving equation in the next video.